But Hungary's door to the European Union today remained firmly shut. On the Serbian side of the frontier, tensions ratcheted up, anger rose and tempers frayed in the late summer heat. Hungarian riot police, the self-appointed Defenders of Europe, held firm. Budapest accused of policies that have crossed the line into xenophobia, protecting so-called Christian culture from unwanted contaminants. From above, a Hungarian police helicopter kept watch. Suddenly, frustrations exploded into open hostilities on this, the southern front, in the migration war of 2015. Tear gas, forcing the refugees and migrants to beat a retreat, eyes stinging, women and children among those now backing away. Others, enraged, retaliated, flinging stones at the Hungarian police, who in turn brought out the water cannons. A tiny child clings to his bloodied father. Many here will have survived worse where they've come from, but none will have expected to encounter more conflict here. Hungary said its police took lawful and proportional measures to protect its southern border and the external frontier of the EU. Rumours of trouble on the Hungarian front had been passed back down the lines to Belgrade and on south to the Macedonian border. By social media and word of mouth, a grand diversion was agreed upon, a new overland route bypassing water cannon and razor wire. The long marchers set a brisk pace through the northwestern Serbian cornfields towards Croatia, the EU's newest member it joined two years ago. These four here have been on the road for a month. Mohammed, Mahmoud, his brother, Aya, his wife, and Basim, all from Damascus. And this is the new route. They are pioneers of this new route through Croatia. They say life had become unlivable in war-torn Syria. They've been through five countries in the past eight days. Nothing was going to get in their way. You must be exhausted. Yeah. Tired. Are you getting any sleep? Uh, one day. One day's under hell. How did you know to come to Croatia and not to go to Hungary? Mohammed said he'd heard it was dangerous and that they'd closed the border. Do you feel confident that you can get to Germany, Netherlands, you say you're going to? Maybe I think I'm going to London. Oh, really? Yeah, but I can't. But my friend said me, go wow. to London. It's very good, very country, it's very good people. The finishing line's still some way off. Ahead, the EU's new front line. This dusty farm track is the Serb-Croat border. Croatian police have deployed a reception party. They don't want refugees from distant conflict zones wandering through unmapped minefields from the Balkan Wars 20 years ago. The last time, hundreds of thousands of people trudged through this region towards Western Europe. We entered Croatia ourselves by a more formal route and in the nearby town of Tovarnik found the refugee crisis centre. Mohammed had just been processed. Refugees and migrants all mixed up and waiting for the blue bus north to Zagreb. A Croatian government minister was observing. Is Croatia prepared for what is about to happen? Uh, we've been following what's been happening in the surrounding countries, in Serbia and, and Hungary. Uh, for the month, past month, we've been following the situation and we've prepared all protocols and uh, we want to be a, a good host for people transiting through Croatia and into the European Union. And transit it is, for nobody we spoke to wants asylum here in the Balkans. Next stop for these people, Slovenia. Like Hungary, part of the Schengen visa-free zone, after which they can all pretty much head where they please, no restrictions. At least 10 busloads arrived on this border today, but after what's happened on the Hungarian frontier this afternoon, you can bet that the multitudes will soon be on their way.